this one here, um, because it's a plus and lux, plus and lux class and it is for um, intermediate to advanced, I'm going to auto digitize this and then fix it. So the way I'm going to go about this one is I'm going to go to auto digitize here, hit browse, and I'm going to grab it. It's this one here. And then I'm going to hit next. Once I hit next, remember, we always scale it down. So once I scale it down, um, because it's a patch three by four or, you know, three by three, four by four, average size of a patch. So I'm going to go 3.5. Okay, hit next. And then we have a color sort here. Okay, um, looking at it here, a couple things I don't want to see. Uh, trying to watch out for the grays, but I guess I'll have to see it in the end. So we're going to start off here and go ahead and hit finish. All right, there we go. We got it. I'm going to move my start point here. Then we're going to zoom in and scroll down. So instantly I'm a little leery. It's got a lot going on. But one of the things I want to do first is make it all a complex fill. Now you guys have the option of going through and keeping what you want, but I'm just going to start off by making it all a complex fill. All right, so we got it all a complex fill. If you guys look down here at the bottom, there's a whole bunch of color chips. Say it's total 85. I don't need that much. So I'm going to hit the minus button to get rid of majority of those. And then I'm going to be left here um, with just the colors that's on my screen. So then I'm going to zoom in. And then from here, I can kind of work at it as I see fit. So because this is going to be a patch, there's a couple things I need to go through and add as well as also I'm going to delete. So as you can see here, I'm going through different components and deleting it, just seeing what's what. And then I'm also going to go through different parts of this and make it to whatever it is that I like, okay? So first things first, I'm gonna create the actual patch on top of here. So this right now is a 2.6 by three by 11. So what I'm gonna do is go up to the artwork tool and I'm gonna make an ellipse circle. Start right here, make it just like that is a three by five by 3.7, somewhere around what I want. I'm gonna probably, yeah, scale it down just a little bit, okay? So now I'm gonna take my circle, change it from an outline to a fill, hit apply. The next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and go to auto digitize and hit yes. So now it's gonna make it a complex circle with a ring around it. Last thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and right click on it, go to order and put it to the back. Now on top of here, we can't see anything because remember that original artwork is still there. So I'm gonna delete that. And now I have my patch with my man. So what I wanna do next is in here, I have a run stitch that's going all the way around. That run stitch, I'm going to go ahead and change the type to a triple rope and hit apply just to make it a little bit thicker. And I'm gonna change the color to yellow just so it can pop off of it. Now in the perfect world, I, if I was embroidering this patch on a group of yellow shirts, I just wanted to blend in with the shirts and be a seamless transition from the actual patch to the shirt. You can choose to do whatever you see fit. Um, this is just what I wanted to do, okay? In addition to that, I want to make the background of the patch, I want to I want to make it white. So I have to change the complex fill in the back. So I'm going to add a color chip and where number 23 is, I'm going to left click on it and select white, hit okay. And now I'm going to change it to white, okay? Just like that. Zooming in now, I'm going to select this flooring down here wherever this is here, and I'm gonna make it 19. So it's a little bit darker and it shows a little bit of contrast. This here is on the more simpler version of how to create a patch that you can pot potentially use. Um, and now I'm just going through changing certain things so that I can make it more of what I would want versus what the auto digitizer uses, wizard chose to do. So um, a lot of parts on here, you're gonna see me converting the satin stitches. Um, I'm going to go through here and realistically, let's make it all one transition. Um, the only thing that I still stay the same. So those are all my satins. <clears throat> and then every now and again, what I like to do is grab the actual image with the backdrop tool. There we go. And I just want to see what was there so I know how to create or what I'm creating on top of it. Here, okay. Um, I'm put a smile on here. Just make sure it's following it. Um, if this was my client's on exactly how I want it. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is do a couple things. I'm going to change the fill type 
the zigzag position contrast with the pants and then decrease the density to 0.3. In addition to that, I'm also going to take off the underlay. I don't need that. And then I'm going to go on to the next one. Okay. So this is the part of the car that can stay the same. Um, but the only thing I want to do is decrease it, make it a lot tighter. So I'm going in here, looking at these parts, going to go to 0.3, leave that all the same. It's just filling the stitches. And then I'm gonna minimize some of this stuff. It's a little bit too much for me. And that's the pants. Okay. Going to the next component of the pants. This here, decrease and the zigzag. Hit apply. Also gonna un take uncheck off the underlay, just like that. And then I'm going down to the orange part here. Increase it, same concept all the way through. Take it off. Fine. Here as well. Fine. Something's underneath there, I can see it. Um, you can put it on the back. Just like that. And then this is the purple. And then. This is another portion of purple. Since it's just those two pieces, I can increase it and kind of do it in one motion, like this here, and check it and get a fly. Okay. And then looking here, let's make a smile. This part here, I don't like the way the stitches are laying. I'm going to make them so different. There we go. And get a flop. Okay, do the same thing up here. And these small things that I'm doing, it just shows some contrast and gives the, it takes your file and give it a little bit more depth. That's all. Um, next thing I'm going to do here is a lot of the dark parts of the design. I need to decrease the density for sure. Let's make it a little bit thicker. There we go. And then the eyes. Let's see the eyes over here. Oh, it's showing shading on the glasses. Okay. I'm just going to make it all one color. So first I need to figure out, it's a, there goes the mouth. We're going to grab the mouth, go to order, bring it to the front. There it goes. The mouth was there. And then let's see what else we got. Tires, wheels and bust, all of that is cool. Okay, that's cool as well. Um, this part here, I'm, um, I'm not sure about. Oh, it's one piece. Mm, I guess. Okay. All right. So I also see here we got a line. Uh oh, we got a line in my complex field. I'm gonna change that. Um, you guys know, change the start and stop point. That'll get the line out of the way. Move it some more. Change line. And make sure I got them all. Okay. Line is gone. Basic. And there you go. So this is on a more simpler scale of a patch. You can actually take this here. I like the entire design. Go to edit because right now we have 28 steps. I'm gonna resequence it by color, maybe make it a little bit more sense. Of course, you can combine some of these colors, like some of the blues and the pinks. It really didn't help that much. You made it to 24. Um, don't forget to save it as a RDE first and then come back and save it as a DST.